All right, coming up next is a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, the inimitable Khabib Nurmagomedov. And this guy makes his way to the Octagon DC. You run out of time setting up everything he's accomplished, but he always puts that status as an undefeated fighter and UFC champion on the line. He will do so again here tonight. The moment he walked in the AKA, you understood that there was something special about Nurmagomedov. He was a guy that was always listening, although he spoke no English. He was always listening and paying attention to try to learn and how to improve himself in the moment. He stepped foot in the gym. He was just open to each and every lesson and now it's showing over the course of his UFC career. He was undefeated going into the UFC and he has only built on that and become a champion. One of the most well-rounded fighters in all of the UFC. You know, your college wrestling teammates have told me when you showed up at Oklahoma State, you didn't speak English either. No, I did. It was all, <laughs> it was all Southern Creole accent. It was all, it was all, hey, my boy. <laughs> right. Well, your English is now very proper, and so is Khabib's, and he's back on the proven ground here tonight, again trying to prove himself as one of the pound-for-pound -pound greatest fighters on this UFC roster. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 13 wins, no losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Ilya El Matador Corporea! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is nothing for you. arena it is of course madison square garden this is where the thug rose scene went down dc this is where it happened ja Laws for words so i yelled the same thing over and over again pick rose nama Yunus, and you can hear me yell thug rose thug rose thug rose man it's almost like he's got a range finder out there just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches there. if you're boxing this guy and only boxing him you will be in trouble all right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer. 
with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmagomedov. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing this skill every single day. And everything's landing with so much power. Oh, that left hand is on point. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, that straight punch is gonna be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's gonna avoid getting hit so many times in the face. Oh, you gotta love this. He is coming out swinging early. No surprise, the aggression on full display. No, he said he was gonna take it to this guy that is exactly what he's doing as we start this fight. Nurmagomedov's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Oh! Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Big kick land. Just over three minutes to go. Right on the button. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Nice job of hiding that head kick. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early and he lands off. Beautiful punch. Back and forth we go. Landed the overhand. Not there. I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his own. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defense because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. That's a big strike right there. Big power shot there. Spinning back fist! Didn't see that one coming. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Nice punch lands over the top. Just out of range with that left hook. Got the single collar tie. All right, the fighters are fighting out of the clinch here, and now we go to the ground. Beautiful trip there to get the takedown. Sweep the leg, Johnny! Oh, John. One guy's always paying attention. The other guy's going, take a point. Take a point like they did to your boy, Johnny, and you lose the All-Valley Championship for disrespecting a guy like that with that big punch land. Oh, collar tie. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. Round two is next. Stop, stop, stop. All right, take a seat. Breathe and relax. I need you to suck it up this time, okay? You're missing those takedowns because you're not setting them up. You're going to get countered if you do. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, 
He said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's played. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one two. Straight punch land. Big leg kick land. He's got the kicking game going tonight, lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. And both guys really throwing with authority. Good punch. Here's the kick, blocked by Nermago Meadow. the overhand right. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Ooh, big shot lands. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. Just over three minutes to go now. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jabs. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Just out of range with the big right All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, huge block! Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Just misses with the jet. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Nice straight punch. Ooh, head kick Lance was hurt. Oh, good kicks. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Nermago Meta. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's... Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's not going to take that finish down, though. Oh, big left hook there. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Oh, well, he continues to stay busy and he continues to land with volume. Oh, huge right hand. Oh, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Oh! What a round! 
right, that's the end of five minutes. That's the end of the round. You see the cut on his lip, and that thing is only getting worse. Pretty nasty gash at this point in time. You know he's gonna need some sutures after the fact. The focus right now, though, keeping his head in the game. Don't think about the cut. You gotta think about getting your offense going and shoring up that defense to prevent that cut from getting any worse. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt, man. Oh, he might be out. He's hurt. He's hurt. Continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Guard. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Single collar tie now. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty tough. He's out! He got him! What a fight! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So, a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at 1 minute, 29 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by... Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. Are you going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.